Go to that place. What goes good on shaft mount rocker bolt down shaft rocker kit from BTR? Of that 16 BTR BTR LS rocker arms. This is uh, the shaft mount uh, rocker kit, and this right here is. They're a new rocker arm. So let me, I'll just get out of the package. This is what it looks like. So let me do a side by side with a stock. Okay, here's the difference between a stock rocker and the new Brian Tooley uh, rocker, rocker arm. So you can see right up here, there's a slight difference. They say it has actually improved oiling for their trunnion kit and this design is significantly harder than GM's. I'm just gonna have to go off of uh, what they have uh, for information at this point. There's not not a lot of real world, world testing because this just came out. But anyways, you can get a kind of idea what the differences are now. Look at that. Got that uh, bridge right there. And this guy has kind of a V. I gotta imagine that uh, scoops up oil and uh, slings it back. Going through these uh, directions for the shaft mount rockers. We'll see if I can mess it up. I don't know. It looks pretty dummy proof. Okay, step one. Put your in the box. No. Anyway, so I got my 22 mil. 13 mil per directions and snap ring pliers. Okay, fun fact. Uh, apparently, this assumes that you have bearings inside your rocker already, so uh, that I do not. If you have these, the new uh, BTR rockers, skip to like step four, step five, step five. Hey, look at that. That apparently is important. I think they uh, they have that highlighted, or not highlighted, maybe they should highlight it, but anyways, they underlined it. Have the writing facing outward, so let's see. Uh, look at that, no writing. Writing. I did one, but I stopped there because I'm gonna do the C-clips. We put the inner clips on first. Uh, even says it right here. So put the inner clips on first. You point the clips upwards. Uh, I got a dirty nail. I got those nails. Anyways, you put the clips on. Stupid ADD. Anyways, you put the clips on and then you face them upwards, pointing the camera at the right spot. And then. I was showing you, I had a, I don't even know why I don't just show you. I had one of these at first. That thing sucks. Use a 45 and then you can clip this right on. I'm doing the inner ones first because, uh, well, I'll be able to slide on the, <laughs> on the rocker. And then you put that on, and then you put, do the outer one. So, oh, let me, uh. One last thing. These guys actually come out. So when I was saying enter, do the inside first. God darn it! I repeat myself so much. Come up! Okay. I got excited and I pressed one bearing. It's kind of like a fidget spinner now. Anyways, pressed uh, the bearing in on the Arbor Press on this guy. It's super easy. I'll get video of that in a second. Put on the C-clip on it. And let me just show you how it sits in there. All right, so it goes into this tray, which comes specifically for it. And bam, it is shaft rocking. I gotta do 15 more of these. Okay, so I gotta press in 
two of the bearings on this guy on the arbor press just make sure that the lettering is out on when i say out make sure it's facing outward on this uh rocker arm so simply verify it set it on there make sure it's somewhat square and then bring your arbor press up whatever press down all the way in Square it up. There we go. Press it in. And that. Right here, it's flush on this side. I don't even know if you see this. But, flush on this side too, and that's it. First things first. I am going to put it on this guy. So, pop these plastic pieces out. Bam, bam. Bloop. It's out. Slide it in. Got the C clips there. Your spreader tool. Put it on. Might want to make sure they're facing the right way, too. Oh yeah, don't spread it out too much. That's what she said. Damn, snapped in. Faced up. See, now we got two on there facing the same direction. And, look at that. That is shaft mounted. Okay, so a quick visual to make sure you're getting the lettering on the outside. Uh, you're going to notice that there's a plastic piece that's in here to kind of hold the needle bearings on the inside. And then the side that doesn't have lettering, you can see that it's opened up. Quick tip, I, I still do a quick visualization, but I, it's easy to look for that flat spot and then look for some lettering. Just to make sure you're getting on the outside. Okay, one thing that you're gonna, I found out, uh, you're gonna have to be careful with. Uh, when you pop the plastic out, you have a bunch of needle bearings inside here. Uh, I thought they were, uh, in, they're not in there poorly, uh, just the back side has uh, uh, less of a lip on it, so compared to the front side. Front side has a lip, back side is less of a lip so it is possible to knock out the needle bearings so be careful with that uh i had one pop out and i was able to put it back in pretty easy but uh just something to look out for when you're doing yours what i want to show you is this thing is machined so well it just it slides in like butter there's like nothing to it see and then all I have to do is put the C-clip on. Because I put the C-clips on. First thing, I did it on everything so I could just drop these things on. And then just do the outer C-clips. So... Carefully do it. I'm trying not to stretch it too far. So I don't want the C-clip to, you know... No, maybe you don't know. I don't want the C-clip to come out of the groove in the future by stretching out too far using this. So that's why I'm being careful. So I am facing all these C-clips, the, the nose part. I'm trying to face it all a certain way because, I don't know, kind of crazy like that. I don't have to be. But that's, like I said, just me. Face it upwards. One, one thought while I'm putting this all together is they're substantially heavier than uh, OE. So when I say that, there's a lot of mass to this, uh, these, uh, this whole shaft mount. But you know, there's a give and take for. Uh, for it because there's gonna be zero deflection 
See, so I'm trying to move this back and forth. When I say move back and forth this way, laterally, but, and it only leaves it up and down. So that is, to me, really needed for high RPM, uh, which my build is gonna be based around. All right, so the directions in BTR shows that you're supposed to line up this section on this rail to something, I'm guessing it has to line up to this inside there. So I'm gonna just dump all this out and try to I'm gonna hand off that camera to my camera guy. This notched out section right here is gonna have to run flat like that. Oh, okay, so the BTR has to be facing inside so it can actually fit in here. That's that. Final thoughts on installing this is that it's actually quite simple. I didn't really hit any snags on this uh, other than having one needle bearing pop out. I just put these on and snugged down uh, the rocker arms and uh, also just finger tighten these so they're somewhat loose. Uh, the reason why I did that, I still have to measure push rod length and I'm not quite sure on how to do that yet so I'm um, just leaving it in a real easy spot to take these off because uh, I have to actually remove these guys uh, then this section will come off and then I'll have to put some sort of measuring tool in there like I said I, I don't have that my buddy Dave has the know-how to do that so I'm gonna wait for his uh his instruction for that but overall like I said getting the BTR uh, shaft mount rockers uh, set up with their uh, new rocker arms. Uh, I found it quite easy and hopefully you find this video uh, somewhat useful.